Hello, Fallen Dragonite here again. I've lost how many times I've tried to do this video because it just seems every, something's gone wrong every time I've tried to do this video. Either because this thing's just so huge it's not fitting on my camera or just something goes wrong right as I'm recording. So hopefully this time there will be no more interruptions, no more problems, no more background falling on me. This is the review of the GoBots Command Center. And yeah, part of the problem with filming this thing was just how massive this thing is. It's the reason why I won't review uh, Titan's Return Trypticon on camera. This thing's going to be a little bit easier to do. Trypticon would just take way too long and be just way too much trouble to actually do this on camera. And you can see I'm doing this on my carpet. I'm not doing this on my table because, again, this thing is big, it's unwieldy, it kept knocking down my background. Hopefully, this time there will not be any issues. Anyway, the GoBots Command Center is fairly iconic. Not only just being one of the more recognizable playsets in the uh, GoBots line, I believe there was one other. Also, it looks like a ripoff ATAT. -AT. Yeah, I should have done this on May the 4th, but up until now I wasn't able to get all the replacement parts because I had to get a few parts to replace this to get this a reviewable condition. It is not 100% complete, but it is to the point where it is at least reviewable. Anyway, you see we have it in its walker mode, as I said, but we can get this into shuttle mode by just folding the legs. Unfortunately, mine are a little stiff. I have to pull these down just a little just to disengage the lock because there's a tab on each leg and there's a little slot here that it just clips into place. And that's shuttle mode. Not much of a transformation, is it? But hey, this is something and has rolling wheels. We can roll. Almost like Emco right now. You can see we also have some nice sticker detailing, although these are not the best condition on these stickers. Station 7 and 5, we got some panels here that look like windows inside. We have this orange stripe which goes along the side. Same kind of details on this side here, the station one and three. We have, of course, the red cockpit, which also works as the battery compartment. This sticker is not supposed to be here. It's supposed to be on the other side, which I will point out later. And you can also see my battery compartment is broken. The electronics may still work. But, eh, I think it's better that the electronics don't work on this thing for reasons I will explain a little later. We also have some nicely sculpted detail on the legs. They're a little dirty. I actually try to clean this up as best I can with a toothbrush and uh, some soap and water. Careful, careful not to dunk this thing at all in water. I just dipped the toothbrush and scrubbed it down and dried it off with a towel. I didn't get all the dirt off, but I got enough of it off that looks nice, at least. We also have these stickers here, which look like thrusters. If this was a modern toy, these would be sculpted on and maybe painted. But they at least thought about putting the stickers on. And then, of course, we have this hatch right here, which you can see some... This isn't really sculpted detail. It looks like supports uh, to make sure that the plastic's not flimsy. There's a reason why this is on this side and not the other side. Of course, first off, you have to untab the top to show this. We first see that there's a lip on the edge, which fits into the groove in the interior panels. This side is flat because when it's down, it acts as a loading ramp. So yeah, you can drive your GoBots into this thing. You may also notice this window here. 
This is one of the enemy detector gimmicks. I'll explain more what the enemy detector actually does because there's also supposed to be one inside too. So when I get to reviewing that area of the uh, base, I'll actually explain what the uh, enemy detector does. Regardless, while I tighten the bolt on my tripod, we shall get this into base mode. But first things first, before we get into the base mode, we have to hold out these legs here. And as you can see, this is the problem. I have to pull this down a little just to get this untabbed. And I think it's just this particular one because this one works just fine for, on me. So we fold out these panels, make sure this is folded up completely. Ignore that because we'll talk about that later. Okay, so there we have the base mode. Yeah, not much of a transformation. You just open it up and there's the base mode. Now then we'll talk about each floor one at a time. Here is the refueling station again with a nice sticker there. We also have those two ports there. <coughs> what are those you might ask? Well, it is a piece, oh, and I got a little carpet fuzz there. Those are for the hoses, which I will not be getting. Why you may ask? Well, tell me, how many of you have actually owned a toy or transformer with real rubber on it? I, for one, had that misfortune with my R.I.D. slash Car Robots Optimus Prime. Rubber pieces will dry out and fall apart over time. These were rubber hoses made in the 80s. They are prone to just falling apart after a while. So until they actually make some soft plastic replacements on the third party market, <clears throat> it is not recommended to get the hoses unless you're really diehard and having a 100% complete uh, base. Next up, I'm going to try my best to get under here. There is the repair bay again with a nice little sticker. Now we go to the floor above and we have the interrogation center with a wanted posta. And, you know, sorry about the accent. <coughs> Talking so uh, long is actually making my throat a little dry. And we have this little panel right here. Which of course brings me to that little red panel gimmick because you see this right here? This was supposed to clip in like so. It just hangs down here and then you flip it up to reveal the alignment. Unfortunately, as you can see, this one is broken. When I got this on eBay, both clip, two of the three clips were still intact, so it could still clip on. However, this middle clip broke in shipping, so... <coughs> yeah. This doesn't clip on like it's supposed to anymore, so it's just a little broken piece. What this was supposed to do was that, as you can see, there is a little sticker detailed there, and if you put the red piece over it, it gives a little secret message. Which I don't think shows up too well on my camera because my because this thing has no zoom. <coughs> Sorry. But there would also be the uh, stickers similar to these on the GoBots, which would reveal which side they were part of. Kind of like the rub symbols we have on uh, Transformers now uh, back then. But of course, these stickers often are not on GoBots now if you buy them secondhand because they came off pretty easily because they were just a sticker that stuck on. There was no like indentation or anything for it. Next up we come here to the cafeteria which kind of weird that robots would need a cafeteria but keep in mind GoBots were cyborgs. No joke. Look it up. A nice sticker Kind of humorous items in the uh, menu. Next we go over here. We have the GoBot Dematerializer. Is it a transportation or an execution room? Hard to say because right above it, 
alien detention center. And the floor has these bars, which makes you think it's some sort of jail. That brings you a bit of a question about the moral, since these are supposed to be the good guys uh, in this base. There's also one sticker I want to point out here, which says, lift here before closing. This is actually instructions for how to close this properly. Because, of course, you're supposed to put the tab on one side and the slot over here. Kind of a nice little detail. Now we go to the enemy reprogramming center. Which, again, kind of questionable for the good guys to have this, isn't it? Yeah. And then finally, we have Strategic Chamber. Kind of a blank, uh, flat sticker. Doesn't have much color or detail to it, other than just having the world map, doesn't it? Well, you may notice the cockpit can rotate. So as we rotate it, and this is really stiff on mine, it's now the strategic command. With a nice sticker that actually looks like a command center. And you think that this is supposed to be on the inside, but no, this is supposed to be on the outside because when this is closed, you can actually hide a GoBot in there because of reasons I will get into when we talk about this. But before we do, before I forget, now that it's rotated, we actually have a kind of robotic face for the command center. And this is where the lights and sounds would come from. And this is also where that sticker in the cockpit was supposed to go. Anyway, you would press down on this button, the lights would flash red, and it would just give this really annoying 80s uh, alarm sound. I would think it would be kind of like an 80s alarm clock. Really high-pitched buzzing sound. That's basically all it was. So be thankful that I will not be subjecting your ears to that. Anyway, we'll rotate this back around. As you can see, ugh, the joint on this is very tight. Sometimes it takes me two hands just to do it sometimes. Regardless, now we'll talk about the elevator or the VMT vertical transition module. And there's a spare enemy detector sticker on there. Yeah, these are not from the same set. Anyway, there's this little handle here and you have to squeeze these two tabs into unlock it because it will lock into place. And when you raise it, it will lock into the, each floor. So we have floor B here. Yes, these are labeled. Floor D, Floor A, Floor C, and of course if this was rotated all the way around and if we had the GoBot right there, it would go up in there and then would turn around and actually reveal itself. So let's put that right about there. Eh. Let's put it a little higher. Let's put it um, right there. So yeah, this thing is pretty tall, pretty impressive. Doesn't transform a whole lot per se, but this is supposed to be a playset for your GoBots. Not terrible. And I think it's about as big as Trypticon when it's uh, in this form, or maybe even Ultra Magnus, uh, not Ultra Magnus, uh, or like Metroplex, or uh, <clears throat> Fortress Maximus, or the upcoming Scorponok. Yeah, I'm talking about the modern versions, not the classics. Anyway, let's get some GoBots in here. Let's uh, put this guy in the cafeteria. Let's put... Mm, See this guy whose head is folded in. Right here. Okay. The interrogation center. Let's put this classic scooter right here in the reprogramming room. Yeah. I think we need a few more, don't we? I think I might have just the thing. I have 
my reissue Bumblebee from the Bumblebee movie. You can see with the more cartoon accurate head, we'll put him into the refueling station. He's not really standing too well on my carpet here. Come on, there we go. <coughs> and then we get another reproduction about the same time this was released, also in the refueling station. Let's take my Iron Factory Slipstream, let's throw her in the jail. <laughs> we'll take my Generations Optimus Prime, we'll put him right on the elevator and we'll take his little roller partner and put him in the Strategic Command. Next we'll take my Iron Factory uh, Wind Blade right there and finally we have my Iron Factory Nova Prime and we'll just put him right there. So yeah, even if you don't have GoBots, there are uh, Transformers you can uh, display him with. Mostly the Scout and Legion class stuff. Iron Factory works pretty well too. Although, it might be a little hard to get them in there. And, of course, the G1 uh, Minibots also work pretty well. But, I have this out. Let's be a little bit more goofy with this. Let's get you out of jail there, Slipstream. And let's put some other things in there. Let's, uh, I got some robot heroes here. Let's, my Beast Wars Megatron, let's put him in the jail. Hopefully he won't take over Cybertron this time. We'll take my robot heroes, Rhinox, we'll put him in the repair center. And robot heroes, Black Arachnia and Silverbolt. Let's have Silverbolt treat her to some lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just being goofy. And I'm not even done yet because I have some other things I can do. Let's, uh, my custom little MGO mascot miniature. Put him right up here with, let's see, my little custom Arya Blaze with a very familiar looking double fusion cannon. And I already used Slipstream, so we'll use my Mechamusume Slipstream and put her right up there. We'll take my Mechamusume Waspinator and put her there alongside Mechamusume Bludgeon and Mechamusume Six Shot. Put them right there. Let's put, okay, this is probably going to be a bad idea, but we'll put my Megumine in the fuel center, and we'll have Reftalia supervise her. As for the strategic command, I can only think of one thing. Let's get him his harm in there, too. Glory to the Tomb of Nazarick. Yeah, this is kind of the reason I got this thing, is so I can just display my uh, miniatures and whatnot. So yeah, even if you don't have Transformers, there's a use you can get out of this thing. It's not too hard to find these things, because these were made by Tonka, and they're pretty tough and durable. Finding them complete is going to be a little bit of a pain, because I had to find all the floors for this because again mine didn't have floors it had the elevator intact but sometimes you won't find the elevator sometimes you'll find the hoses sometimes you don't but i wouldn't care about the hoses whatsoever this piece is probably the most breakable not really easy to find intact this ramp took me forever to find one <coughs> so if you're gonna buy this second hand you can get it pretty cheap maybe like 25 30 bucks at the cheapest but you're probably going to be trying to hunt down the replacement parts for a while. But who knows, maybe you're lucky and find one that's complete. You can get them pretty cheap too. Probably no more than a leader class figure, I think. And this thing is pretty damn big, so make sure you have the uh, shelf space for it. Anyway, that is my review of the GoBots Command Center, and I hope to see you guys again next video. Bye!